Hello everyone, so I'm doing a small extension roof here which I've now completed. It's been knitted into an existing very wonky roof there. I haven't done a video on this because I've done videos on this kind of roof before. But what I wanted to do was just show you how I go about calculating. What we've got here is the plate heights are different. So it's, it's, although it's fairly simple, there is a method that I use to work out the rafter lengths when the plate heights are different. And what I'm going to show you how uh, I do it I'm going to show you how I do it based on the method that most carpenters already use to um, find out their rafters, their rafter length. So, simply what I've done here, as usual, as you might expect, I've taken the outside plate to outside plate measurement, and also I know the drop, the difference between that plate height and this plate height, which is 390 millimeters in this instance. So, what I've basically done is put this measurement into my um, rafter calculator. I think it was about five meters and 70 or five meters and 90, I can't remember exactly. Basically, I've put that measurement into my rafter calculator and it's given me uh, the length of the rafter. Now, what I've done here is I've got a bit of timber left over, which I've just kind of mocked up to show you. So um, I'm treating this, uh, to the first part of what I'm gonna show you, treating this as if it was a rafter uh, calculated for a roof with the plates the same height. Obviously, pitch is the same both sides. So obviously, I've got my bird's mouth here and I've taken this height above plate line above uh, I've taken this height above plate line up, and then the measurement that we come out of our calculator after we've split the span by two, then that's the run, and we put the run into the calculator and the pitch. It gives us a measurement which we take from here, this point here, and we run all the way up to here. So this, this is actually the true measurement of the rafter if both of those plates were the same height given the span. I'm gonna show you quickly what I do to calculate the difference, the difference between the long rafter and the short rafter, and it's pretty simple. As I said earlier, we know that the, I'll just go back out here, we know that the difference uh, between the plate heights is 390 millimeters. So that plate there is 390 millimeters higher than this plate here. So if we go back up to this top plumb cut, again, we know that this mark here is the length of the rafter if the plates were the same height, but our plates are 390 mil different. So what I've done, simply, really simple, like almost like a stepping off, stepping down, I measure 195 millimeters down here, which is half of 390. Then we put a level, level or seat cut across, and where that hits the top of this rafter, that then we put a plumb line in there, and that then becomes our short rafter. So that's half, again, half of the drop here, which is 195 level line across and that then becomes the length of our short rafter and then what we simply do to get the length of our long rafter is literally take the measurement from where the short rafter is to where the rafter would be if the plates were the same height and then simply all we do is we add that on so you can see it's just under 370 millimeters there so we add that on and then that gives us the length of the long rafter so again i hope it kind of makes sense it's um, using a formula that we all know, and now I'm repeating myself. Again, we just apply that formula. There we go, height above plate mark there, across the top of the rafter, and you're watching this, perhaps as a carpenter, you, you know, you'll be familiar with how we set out uh, these rafters. Again, that brings us to this, this mark here would be, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm gonna repeat again, just to, so heaven gets it. This would then be the length of the rafter if the plates were the same height. Again, we measure half the height difference, which is 195 mil, level mark across, and that gives us the length of the short rafter. Then all we do is add on the distance between the length of the short rafter and the, the rafter would be the, the length of the rafter of the plates of the same height, and then we add that on, and that gives us the long rafter. Yeah, so I've just come up top, and you can see, obviously, now you get a better idea of how you've got a short rafter, which um, is obviously pitching down onto the plate that's higher, and then you've got a longer rafter, which is obviously pitching down onto the plate, which is lower. So I hope that gives you an idea, of a visual idea of what this actually looks like. Um, I had to think long and hard about the best way to try and explain uh, how to do this, because in my mind it's quite simple, but sometimes it's not always easy to explain these things. So anyway, uh, if you have got a roof to do, a hand cut roof to do, where the pitch is the same both sides and the plates aren't the same height, hopefully this will help you.